What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and I have some good news. So Pangu basically just announced like three hours ago that they're gonna release a new jailbreak. So this is the tweet from the official Pangu team right here and it says we are we are going to release uh, we are going to release Pangu jailbreak 2 for iOS 9.2 to 9.3 9.3.3 very soon. Please check the website and this is the website right here. And as you can see it just says coming very soon. 9.2 to 9.3 but it's only for 64 bit devices so if I scroll down where, where is it? somewhere at the bottom it'll tell you the supported device so basically from the iPhone 5s up and from the iPad mini 2 up in the iPad and all that stuff so that's the supported device 64 bit only and so this video is basically to to show you guys how to downgrade. So if you're on iOS 10, like I'm on iOS 10 right now, so I'll go to about, you can see right there, I'm on iOS 10. So if you guys want to downgrade, I'm going to show you guys the proper way to downgrade from iOS 10 back to 9.3.3 .3 and your device will work fine. Because previous, the way we used to downgrade, we used to download the file and I have the link where you could download you could download your firmware this website right here you just click on firmware then you could scroll down to the device you have so basically whatever device you have if I have the 6 let's scroll down a little bit the 6s then I'll just click on this one right here and you download it and Download it to the desktop. I always downloaded mine to the desktop. So this is it right here. So you want to download your firmware. That's the first thing you want to do. Because sometimes it could take a while to download. So download your firmware. And usually we would click on check for update. Like shift on a, on a um, PC. Shift check for update. Then we will select the firmware on a, on a Mac. It would be option, check for update, then we select the firmware, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do the restore tab because for some reason when we do the shift update, the iTunes iTunes would stop working. iTunes would stop working and I already tested it out on this device. And iTunes, I basically just restored this one using the shift. But now iTunes is working again. Before iTunes would break, it would just crash as soon as you try to play something. So we're gonna have to do a restore. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna create a backup. Before you do a restore, you wanna click backup now. Plug your phone in, click backup, and it will store everything in your device. So store everything, and then you go back to update. Um, after then you restore from from that backup after the downgrade. So the jailbreak is coming. If you are not, if you're on iOS 10. This is how you downgrade to 9.3.3 so you can get ready for the jailbreak. And if you're on 9.2, I would suggest that you update to 9.3.3, um, the latest firmware. It's the latest, it's the latest signed iOS 9 firmware. So, okay, so let's go ahead with this downgrade. And as I said, your phone got to be plugged in. Plugged in just like that. All right, so we want to hit Shift. If you're on a PC, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be Option restore so oh, first thing we gotta do we gotta turn off find my iPhone so go to settings scroll down to iCloud I think scroll all the way down find my iPhone turn off put in your password Now it's off, so now we want to hit option because I'm on a Mac. Check for update, and it's going to prompt me to select the firmware. And here it is, right here. The iPhone 6, iPhone 6s is going to show up as iPhone 8. If you don't know what iPhone you have, cancel that. If you don't know what version of the iPhone you have, mine is the iPhone 6s, as you can see right here. So we're going to click on serial number, and then this is the model. It's a model identifier, so it's an iPhone 8.1. So if I go to the firmware, if I hit shift or option, you say 8.1 right here. So 8.1, 9.3.3. So that's how you know the correct firmware. And when you go to download, you will look for that same thing. So click on that, open, restore. 
and as you can see it's restoring but nothing is being done on your device as yet but it is being restored I mean so you're good to go so we're just gonna let this restore could take a while it will take a while so we're just gonna sit and put the phone down and we're gonna let it restore and I'll come back when the restoration is done Update settings. Is it okay? Okay, so right here now it's basically saying if we want to update, if we want to update from the backup that we created, like at 9:33. So we're going to hit set up a new right here and continue. get started so basically the whole thing we're gonna have to set up all over again but that's what it is guys put in your Wi-Fi password put in the password put in your Apple ID password So basically that's how you do it guys so that's how you downgrade properly from iOS um, from iOS 10 back to 9.3 and if you want your iTunes to be working because the other way iTunes would just stop working so this way you downgrade and you're good to go so after you do the whole setup so now you have to go back to this and basically add all your apps but I can show you that we're on 9.3.3 right there 9.3.3 so yeah there you go guys so Pango will release the jailbreak it's already been released in some countries let's refresh this page and see if it's out so it says still coming soon so whenever it's out I'll be making a video showing you guys how to jailbreak 9.3.3 so definitely hit that subscribe button it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment as I said, definitely subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.